Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. Okay, these are the uh, Fourier transform properties that we are going to discuss in this chapter. So you need to have your um, Fourier transform table or Fourier transform pairs in hand. So the first property that we are going to focus on the linearity and superposition. So when you have a signal V1T, so you, you'll have V1 omega in frequency domain. If you have V2T, so you'll have V2 omega in frequency domain. But you have a, a, a combination of two signals, AV1T plus VV2T. So you'll be having the same scaling factor and same operation in frequency domain. So the, that is called superposition. Let's look at the first example um, on superposition. So you need to find the Fourier transform for the given signal, 3e minus 2 modulus t. So this equation can also be represented in this signal shape. So it is basically the combination of two signals, one on the left hand side and one on the positive t. So basically, when you have a Fourier transform operation, so you need to have your Fourier transform table in hand. So compare the given equation with the one, the, the equation or the signal you have. So in this case, if you, there's two methods to solve this. The first one is by using uh, the signal given. So this is the first method and this is the second method. So by using the first method, you will consider that this equation uh, includes two components which are the one with on the left hand side and one in the positive t okay so from here <clears throat> you'll get the basic equation so you need to call um, to compare with the Fourier transform table to get the Fourier transform equation so from the table if you have single component a e minus a t u t so compare with the given equation for example the first one you have one e minus two t u t so you know that your small letter a is two and the capital a is one so it becomes one over small letter a is two plus j omega same goes to the other component okay so next solve the complete operation in which we have multiplication in the amplitude by three and both signal being added up so your f omega equal to three this is the one on the left and one on the right so being added up so then sim simplify this equation so if you have, if you uh, refer to the second step, so from the table, basically you can have the same shape of equation. So in this case, this is equal to a e minus a modulus t. So in this case, you know that your small letter a equal to 2 and your capital A equal to 3. So in for a transform, this equation will produce this. So straight away, you can replace all is into the equation okay so in this case this equation will produce 12 over 4 plus omega squared so if you compare both steps produce the same answer okay, let's look at the second example on superposition or linearity so find the Fourier transform of gt so in this case this is your signal gt so if you look at the uh, shape it's basically a combination of rectangular function so you can uh, choose how many components you want to have in your uh, equation for example in this case i divide this signal into two so the first one is this one And the second one is the bottom one. Okay, so GT is basically G1T plus G2T. If you total them up, you'll get GT. Okay, so how to use Fourier transform in order to get um, this uh, solve? So you need to refer to the table 
So basically, you need to refer to rectangular function. If you remember basic equation of re rectangular function, it is a rectangular t over tau. A is the amplitude of the rectangular and tau is the width of the rectangular. So in this case, on the first one, g1t, so the equation will be a rectangular t over tau, the width. So the width here is 6. So for the second signal, so a is 1 rectangular t over tau, the, the width is 2. Okay, once you have the equation in time domain, so you can convert the equation into frequency domain. So obviously, the rectangular function in time domain will produce sync function in frequency domain. So to avoid confusion, so just refer to the Fourier transform table. So uh, the rectangular function will produce a sync function, a tau sync function omega tau over 2. So now you need to work on both signal G1 and G2. So after you get the equation in time domain, so you need to convert those equations into frequency domain. So if you compare um, the first signal G1t, so it will produce G1 omega in which it is equal to a tau sinc function omega tau over 2. So in this case, your a is 0 0.5, tau is 6, multiply with 6, sinc function, omega tau, tau again is 6 divided by 2, so we get 3 omega. Same goes to the G2. Okay, so GT equal to G omega is a summation of G1 and G2 in frequency domain. So this is as uh, discussed just now. So you have the A multiplied with tau, sin function omega tau, the first tau over 2, and the second signal. So the A is 1, A tau for the second signal. So the tau is 2, A tau sin function omega tau over 2. So simplify the equation. So the first transform of gt equal to g omega given by this equation. Let's look at another example on linearity and superposition. So given v1t, v2t, the uh, a and b. Okay, so if you have a v1t, we produce a v1 omega in frequency domain. So same goes to when you have b v t b v t to v two t. So it will produce b v two omega. And if you have a new signal r t, is the combination or the uh, superposition between the first signal and the second signal. So r omega will also having the same um, summation of two signals in frequency domain. So in this case, given uh, V1T equal to UT, so AV1T equal to it UT. So A in this case given by this value. So 8V1 is given by U. So in this case, AV1T equal to it UT. So find the AV1 omega. So refer to the table, so when you have signal with unit state function, so it will produce this in frequency domain. So in this case, your uh, equation equal to 8ut, in which this is equal to a v one t Okay, so in this case, your a equal to 8 and then ut. So here your A equal to 8. Okay, so the signal, the first signal, uh, A V1 omega. So this is your A V1 omega equal to this equation. Okay, next you have you need to work on the B V2. So B V2, so B V2T 
So your b is 20. So b2 is given by this exponential g2000 t. So again, refer to the table. So you need to find what is bv2 omega. So we need to find what is bv2 omega. So in this case, when you have exponential function, so you have in frequency domain, the signal will be frequency shift. In this case, um, your e j omega naught t equal to e j 2000 t. So you know that your omega naught equal to 2000. Okay, so your b v 2 omega. So this is your b v 2 omega equal to 2 pi omega minus omega naught. So omega naught is equal to 2000 in this case. So now work on r omega. So r omega equal to the combination of both signal a1, a v1 omega and b v2 omega. So just add them up. Okay, so r omega equal to, so this is your um, a v1 omega plus b v2 omega. And let's look at the next properties, time shift. So if you recall back, when there's operation inside the bracket in time domain, so it is time-based operation. So if you have time shifting in time domain, so you'll be having uh, exponential, uh, the, the signal being uh, multiplied with exponential function in frequency domain. Okay, so time delay, time delay is time shift in time domain causes linear phase shift in frequency domain. Okay, however, the amplitude remain the same. Okay, if you have the amplitude 1, so the amplitude here also 1. And let's look at an example in time shift operation using Fourier transform. So, if you have a Vt is given by Ut and you need to Rt, a new signal is given by Vt minus 7. So, you'll notice that the original signal now being shifted by 7. Okay, so to determine R omega, so here you need to find R omega. Okay, the first step, refer to the table and compare to the equation you have. So the first one, you have Vt equal to Ut. So Vt equal to this equation. So Vt equal to Ut. So you need to find what is V omega. So V omega equal to A equal to this equation. So what is your A? So in this case, your A is Aut. So your A is 1. So it's 1 and the one in the bracket pi delta omega plus 1 over j omega so this is your v omega the first equation now find the r omega so r omega having the original signal being shifted by t naught so in this case compared to the given equation v t minus 7 so you know your t naught in this case equal to positive 7. So you have your equation V omega E minus G omega. Your T naught is 7. And then what is V omega? So V omega is from the first equation. So you need to replace equation 1 into the second equation. Okay. So now the V omega equal to this from the first equation so r omega equal to v omega multiply with exponential of e minus j 7 omega okay another example in uh, time shifting so you'll notice you have time shifting here t minus t naught so your t naught in this case equal to 0 0.5. Okay, so compare with the table. The first step always refer to table. So in this case, you have this equation, AE with modulus t. 
So it will produce this equation. So compare this into this one. So a e minus a t. So you know that the capital A equal to 3 and the small letter A equal to 2 and your T naught equal to 0 0.5. Okay, so now you have your basic equation. So FT equal to 3E minus 2T. So it produces F omega equal to 2 capital A equal to 3 small letter A equal to 2 divided by A squared 2 squared plus omega squared so this is your F omega so now you have a new signal being shifted uh, the new signal uh, dependent on the original signal FT signal but the signal being shifted by T naught okay so now, if you have uh, the signal being shifted by T0, so the Fourier transform equation equal to F omega E minus J omega T0. So you know that this T0 equal to 0 0.5. So this T0 equal to 0 0.5. So what is F omega? So F omega is from the original equation. Okay, so your f omega here equal to so f t f t minus 0 0.5 equal to f omega e minus j omega 0 0.5. So what is your f omega? So f omega equal to 2 times 3 6 12 so 12 over 4 plus omega squared multiply with e minus j omega over 2 or 0 0.5 okay so this is your new signal so we can call this one as f new for example right with that thank you